Often, in business research, you need to understand how people communicate in other countries. Business is highly international, and understanding more about other cultures will help you even if you never leave the United States. Much of effective communication depends on interpersonal elements of culture that are often hard to measure or quantify and are thus harder to research. Things like cultural norms and taboos for you as a foreigner in that country, values in negotiating and decision making, language and dialect, nonverbal communication and body language, greetings, dress, gift giving, meals, all these are things that will affect your success when communicating with another culture. Fortunately, the library has great resources to help with this. Start from this guide for international business. The top two sources in the qualitative box are your best bets. Global Road Warrior is a subscription, so you must access it from this library page, not from Googling it. Within Global Road Warrior, select your country. The reports all have these sections on the left side. Start with the business culture sections. Here are multiple subsections on things like the business experience, decision making, meetings, entertaining, and much more. Most sections are several short paragraphs of text, but the negotiating section in particular has these numerical charts where they try to quantify certain elements of negotiating, like the attitude and formal style. Here, for example, Morocco ranks very highly on the value of preserving a relationship over a strict contract, whereas this section describes how their communication style is generally more indirect and they have a lower time sensitivity. There is also this section for business women. Under the culture and society section are a couple of more sections that you'll want to read. Women in business and women in culture here expand on the above section. And the greetings and courtesies, gift giving, and time orientation sections are all useful too. A quick note about citing these sources. The cite this document button on the left is not very accurate. Here's an example of a better citation to follow. Use the title of the section you're reading and usually there's an author credited at the bottom of the page, like this one. Going back to the International Business Guide, another interesting source for cultural awareness and better communication is Ger Tofstede's Cultural Dimensions. The nice part about this one is it lets you easily compare your country to the United States or whatever other country you wish. Select at least two countries. Mr. Hofstede tried to quantify all the cultural variation between countries, and he labeled the major elements of culture as such power distance, individualism, masculinity, uncertainty avoidance, long-term orientation, and indulgence. So here you can see, for example, the U.S. is very high on individualism and indulgence, but Morocco is quite significantly lower on both of those. That's certainly going to affect your communication. You can read more about what each of these elements mean by clicking on the Read More About Chosen Countries button. Finally, here's an example of a correct citation for this page. Use this one as an example for your citation. These top two resources, Global Road Warrior and Hofstede's Cultural Dimensions, should provide a ton of reliable information for you when you're trying to understand the interpersonal cultural elements of a country. Don't hesitate to ask the library if you have any questions. We're happy to help.